Windows 10 on ARM, what's the big deal? Stay tuned and find out. Welcome back to another video. Yes, ARM, Windows on ARM. Let's jump into that subject matter and get you guys up to speed on the latest news of running Windows IoT Enterprise on ARM. So it's been kind of a long road if you think about it. Windows, Microsoft, um, had a product, the Windows IoT Core, did run on ARM. It was a very limited board support and it only supported universal Windows apps, UWP. Um, it didn't run Win32 apps, which was a big requirement that a lot of our customers wanted and needed. And so the push has always been to try to push that into the larger Windows IoT Enterprise product and Microsoft has done that. Um, and it seems to be going quite nicely. We've recently been doing a lot of testing on the hardware and uh, things are going well. So the question I often get right off, the, right off the bat is, why ARM? Why would I want to switch from Intel to ARM? Um, if it works so well on the Intel processors, uh, why should I even look at the ARM option? And we're gonna talk about that. So let's look. The first thing is Microsoft is targeting a new space um, and that is in that smaller, um, lower you know size smaller size a different market space altogether uh, with the iot enterprise it was a little bit bigger devices higher performing um, typically it had screens kiosk interfaces things like that and it, for some market spaces that's kind of overkill so they really needed something that fits down in that smaller space what you might call the windows ce or compact edition space right uh, they needed to fill a hole there, and that, that was the target that they were heading towards, and they're definitely getting there. So let's take a look at uh, the next one. High performance in a small package. So I didn't want to say lower performing, because ultimately the NXP processors are actually pretty high performing processors. Um, and th they have a slew of different families within that NXP, uh, IMX8 family. Uh, that you can take a look at different performance levels, different price points, but certainly um, you're not losing performance uh, depending on which processor you go with. The NXP family of processors have high performance and high, uh, they have a built-in GPU with some graphics performance as well. Long life cycle. So um, this one honestly was a little bit new to me because ARM processors are a little bit new to me. I've lived my whole career supporting uh, Intel and AMD. And so when the ARMs come along and I find out that some of our OEMs are excited simply because the NXP family of processor has a long life cycle, and in some cases longer than Intel's. So you're able to spec in a board processor that's going to last a long time smaller board packages so there's definitely some options here to go with a smaller board that will fit into some different packages so depending on your appliance um, you know a micro atx or, or even a nano atx those type of things you want to go smaller these these smaller uh, boards that have nxp might be the ticket and i'll show you a couple examples in just a second lower power requirements and fanless capabilities. Again, because it's so small, it's gonna draw less power. Um, it has much lower power requirements, and in many cases, you can go fanless, so you don't have to um, you know, have a fan using additional power and noise, those capabilities. Um, and we'll show you that as well. It has the lowest Microsoft licensing costs. So Microsoft had the three tiers, high-end value and entry, and now, they've added a new tier below entry called base and base is for your arm NXP processors. And it is very inexpensive. Get with us here at arrow. We'll get you a quote on what the license option is, but it brings the licensing costs very low, helping your overall solution have a lower cost. Let's take a look at three boards um, that we offer and can, and can sell. If you're interested in, um, you can also, uh, pick up a board to start playing with and start testing. That's what we did here, um, at least what I did for my team. Um, and we'll show you a couple of these here in just a second, but starting with Seiko, you have the Seiko Triceps. Um, they have a couple different families there to choose from. In the middle, you have the Asus, the PE100, um, and the, with the IMX8P. And then 
You also have Advantech and an arrow we're authorized on Advantech. And we can um, obtain these and sell all three of these options. So if you're looking for an ARM board along with the Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC 2021 on ARM, you can come get that whole bundle from us and we can help you with that. So let's look um, at a real, a real option here. So we'll start with the Seiko. They have an eval kit. Um, we'll see if the camera will zoom in on this. So this is a little touch screen and it's got room. Uh, this particular is just an eval kit. So it's got room for a camera up here, which I don't have. We don't have that option on here. It does have uh, a speaker right here and a microphone right here. And this is a full touch screen. If we look at the board itself, it's going to look a little weird because it's a, I've got a green screen. So it's a green board. So it's going to look like it's Chrome or something. Uh, but that is the Seiko board with the uh, NXP processor on it. And you can see it's got modules that you can expand and add here too. Um, and we have been working with Seiko. We've got this thing fully running Windows IoT Enterprise LTSC 2021. And uh, it runs just like the, the uh, x86 version. Um, it's the same product basically, but it's running on an ARM. Uh, let's look at the other one that we have been playing around with, which is the ASUS, the PE100. Uh, let's see if I can get the model that'll focus my camera to focus in on the, the model number here. Yeah, there it is. Um, this is the unit. And again, I'll see if I can get it to focus, bring it close to my face here. So you've got the ports, HDMI port here, right here, USBs, Ethernet. You've also got places to add antennas. Um, if we turn it around, it has the, they're going to look strange because they're green. So they're going to show up kind of strange, but you've got your power and different interface options. This is a fanless unit and I've got it where I can pop the main thing apart, which is a giant heat sink. Um, and it is mounted to a processor block that's right there. And so there's a tiny little, see if it'll focus again. It's a tiny little board that has an NXP uh, IMX8 processor on it. And um, very good, tiny solution. Heat sink goes on, no fans, low power. Super things you can do with this little, little guy right here. If we have, um, or we're still working on a few other different board options and testing, but again, that guy fully runs Windows IoT Enterprise LTSC. The um, the other thing that comes up is, is it an emulator or, you know, am I, can I just run Win32 apps on there? You can just run Win32 apps on there. Now, you need to test those apps and see if they're gonna have any issues. Um, I've installed a number of different Win32 apps on it and it runs just fine but you absolutely will obviously need to test your application on there and give it a shot. And if you need access to the media or you want to come buy a test board from Arrow, let us know. We'll get it to you. You can start testing. With that, any questions around the uh, NXP or ARM or Windows on ARM, drop a comment below. Hit the like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching the channel. Thank you so much.